in the previous video, our vampire Jonathan ends Bill's misery and he agrees to work for Dr. Edgar Swansea at the Priamore Hospital. This is where Jonathan's night begins. And so you care, welcome back everybody. Part 3 of Vampire. Let's get to it. Alright. Um, Alright, we just got done beating up William, so... Let's go talk we'll to him. have a word in my office later, Jonathan. So can I go here? Can I take the boat? Enter the Pembroke Hospital. Come on, you bastard. You, you can do better, better than that. Now. Oh? It's my turn. What's this, bloodlust? Rotten or crusty. Each heart contains the seed of life. Drink at this river. Dry it all. Oh, come on, you bastard. I won't bite. Sir, please. You've lost too much blood. Calm yourself. You think I didn't notice? Stop your staring and get me to an hospital, you ass. I'll let you bleed. Be more polite. Insulting a good Samaritan. Not exactly the way to get rescued. All right, all right, sorry. I am in pain here. We got to spilling out onto the street and you're yabbering on. Yes, that's a very nasty wound you've got there. Take my word, I was... I am a doctor, Dr. Jonathan Reed. <sighs> Name's Clay Cox. I'd appreciate you helping me to a better place, Doc. Follow me, Mr. Cox. Let me assist you to that better place. How much XP will it take from the higher book? XP you get. Healthy. <laughs> Drink the blood of your prey. You first need to memorize them to lead them out of certain order. Or higher than the system. How do I know? With him, the dance of life and death. Oh, I'm about to do feeding time. I'm afraid the mass. Learning more about seeing cards in their hands will increase experience gain. Okay. I just want to do that for you guys. Oh, with the vampire bite. Ah. In the back, you bastard! Didn't have the guts to fart me! Fuck you! I'll kill you! I'll kill you! <laughs> I'm just kidding, guys. You guys damn really that evil? I had a friend told me he played this game, he's like, just, just eat everyone you see, or you can. It'll make the game way easier. I'm like, um, okay. Oh, can I eat you guys? I'm just kidding, that's too much blood for me. Hi, how you doing? What? Doctor, oh, where have you been? I've little time to play hide and seek with new staff members, no matter how illustrious they may be. I apologize, nurse. I needed some time to myself. This has been the longest and strangest night of my life. You delivered poor Mr. Hampton from a terrible fate. The means to that end should be of little concern, Doctor. Thank you, Nurse. What can I do for you? Dr. Swansea insisted we provide you a quiet office. You'll find it on the second floor with your name on the door. Thank you. Nurse Crane, isn't it? Yes, Dorothy Crane. Welcome to Pembroke Hospital, Dr. Reed. Your office has been prepared. I would like to ask a few questions first. 
And Mr. Hampton, the patient we brought in. How does he fare? I gave him a sedative to help him sleep. The poor thing was in quite a state of shock. What kind of man is Dr. Swansea? Well, you accepted the job from him. I thought you would have known about your employer. It's right to assume Dr. Swansea knows far more about me than I do about him. You'll get to know him soon enough, and better than me. The Administrator has better things to do than mix with us. What kind of man is Dr. Swansea? Well, you accepted the job. Oh, I already did that. Sorry, guys. Um... If you could point me in the direction of my room again, nurse. Second floor of the hospital, left after the stairs. It's the last vacant office at the end of the corridor. Okay. Thank you, Nurse Crane. Much appreciated, much love. Hospital fall, please go back home to the influenza. This hawk can no longer take any patients. Huh. Ain't that nice? Dr. Swansea is right. This place seems perfect to conduct my research. Yes, it is. Is it the second floor? Or do I need to go higher? Hmm. On the left, they said, right? Have my name on it. Is this it? This doesn't look like it has my name. Never mind, I found it. This must be the place. It's definitely away from prying eyes. Relegated to the shadows. A kingdom of my own. At least I won't be sleeping in a coffin. You got that right, Edward. William Bishop's blood is much more unstable than human blood and shows extensive mutation. But this is not what happened to me. I must keep on searching. The sun is about to rise. I can feel it. I'll continue tomorrow night. I have so much time now. The flower's dying. It needs water. What else can I do? You guys could definitely pause that and read on your own time, all right, guys? Oh, boy. I'll read that definitely on my own time. That was a lot of reading. Oh, definitely that, too. You guys could pause it. Anything else I could pick up? Oh well. Let's wait for the night. Edward needs some rest. Increase your health. Increase your blood capacity. Increase your blood. stamina and health yeah what else do I need you will block your target's blood in their veins defenseless you create this bear is already direct damage until it fades or is destroyed I don't know which one do I choose, guys. There's you create an invisible barrier, absorbing direct damage until it fades. Um, blood 
blood spear. Nothing on the target's feet. Let's save our points. No, 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 no. Let's confirm all this. Yeah, we're just gonna keep it like that. Save us some XP points. Hmm. Right now, the consequence of your actions may improve or degrade the district health status. It also be degraded due to diseases spreading among citizens. The more lives you take, the unhealthier a district becomes. If a district health status drops below the critical threshold, it will plunge into chaos. It's for you to decide of a district's fate. Okay. All right. So he's a goner. You guys can read and pause that in your own time. So I need to gain more hints. That's what it looks like. I have to do. If I'm to stay here until my research is complete, I'd better learn to hide my true nature from the mortals. What about my thirst for blood? Look at him. I don't want to make waves of that. Answer the door. Okay, okay. Hurry now, Doctor. It's freezing here. What happened? Yes, Nurse Crane? How can I help you? I'm so sorry. I know Dr. Swansea wanted you to rest, but we have somewhat of a crisis. A crisis, you say? Our supply of antiseptics is nearly depleted. I was hoping there was another box up here, but... What type of hospital are you running? No antiseptics? You have been away too long, Doctor. With the war, and now this epidemic, supplies have been running scarce for months now. I may have a solution. In France, during the war, drugs shortage was a daily problem, and we had to use our wits to overcome the shortages. However do you mean? If combined correctly, certain household chemical products can be used in a pinch instead. Now, where's the hospital storeroom? The storeroom? Fat chance. This is the Pembroke. And space is luxury we don't have. Everything used to be stored in the old morgue. Perhaps I should look there first. Where is this morgue? It's the large building behind the hospital. You'll need to go in the back door because it's been sealed off for sanitary reasons. Take this key. It opens a small back entrance at the end of a narrow street. The abandoned morgue behind the hospital. A small door at the end of a narrow street. On my way then. Thank you, nurse. Thank you, indeed. Let's go to the old morgue, guys. I hope I don't have to, you know, suck any bloods. Blah, 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 blah. I'll probably run around and go sightseeing when I'm not recording for you guys. But, let's get on with this. Behind the hospital, they said. So, do I probably have to come this way? Nails three. Scowl voices in the garden. I should investigate. If they were to find somebody. Oh, that kind of freaked me out, guys. Stop! Come on, come to me. Bring it, bring it. Oops. Man, they got those things lurking around the city. Ain't cool, man. Now nah, I don't want to travel out in the streets of London right now. Got me all paranoid. Morgue is pretty far away from the hospital. 
you guys you guys like me to do anything in this game just let me know please drop a comment in below down below I'm not gonna do anything crazy because I don't know much about this game. Hello? Hello? Anyone in here? You know what? I'm not gonna open that door yet. Alright. I don't know what I'm looking. All kinds of weird stuff. Alright, two upstairs it looks like. Oh no. Balls of Mars. Fortifiers. <laughs> as popular as they are ineffective. But they do contain iron tartrate, and that might prove itself useful. How dare you! <sighs> Behavior is similar to the infected William Bishop. Must be the same strain. This sickness moves faster than influenza. Anything up there? Always gotta check every room, guys. You never know what you're gonna need. Or what are you gonna find too? Can I open this door? It's locked. Hmm. Oh, right here. No. Doors creeping in and stuff, give me that creepy vibe. I just gotta double check. Sometimes I just run around and I don't really look that careful. So, we go upstairs even more, guys. I was all stepping on. I didn't think I was gonna win that fight. Hmm. I can't open that door. Can I not go there? Hmm. I thought I could. It's locked, all right. So I can't go there. Uh, I came from that way. So it looks like I can open these doors. What a waste of time. All right, I had to find something. So I haven't been looking clearly enough. So it looks like but at least to outside.
So I came from the back here. It was there was nothing. So the old moor is crawling with those vamps. Whatever they are. Call them whatever. Ooh. That's locked, so Cash is just walking through, you know. Ain't nothing. Just a normal day. In my vampire Edward life. Honestly guys, why well, why is all vampire names Edward? I could tell you why. I'm just joking. I don't know the answer to that. This key will surely grant me access to the basement. I told you guys, how the heck did I miss that man? Oh snap, I didn't see you. Don't you dare come out running like that on me. Where were you hiding all this time, man? How you gonna come running around out of nowhere, man? Told you guys, man. I did not see that vampire, man. He tried to come up on me. You guys saw that? He thought he was some somebody, you know, trying to sneak up on me. I had to tell him not to do that again, man. Rest to evolve. Well, now I got the more key for underground. Woo! What was that? That kind of gave me... <laughs> I got scared for a second, you know? Oh, man, there's more, you guys. Fine. You guys want to do this? These skulls feed from corpses and the husks of animals. They're not out of blood. You guys got? Where's that other guy at? Other guy? Oh, Ooh, there's two of you guys. Come on. Bring it, man. Bring it. Bring it, man. Think you can take me down? No way, man. Leave a body here. Offhand. Absorb blood. Huh. That seems kind of useful in my offhand, eh? Listen knife. Mr. Connor's injuries don't match the report. I'd better look into this. All right, we're looking into the investigation of the body. Okay. Traces of a pinkish foam at the corner of the lips. Some sort of drug overdose, perhaps. 
Perhaps. Multiple abrasions and scarring on the arms and legs. Old and distinctive injuries of a sailor or a fisherman. The chest was originally open to perform the operation. The sutures are clean, but the chest has been reopened. A puncture over the left lung, possibly a chest tube insertion. Not the cleanest work, but I think it was successful. Signs of internal bleeding. So, Dr. Tippett's anesthetics were incorrectly dosed, causing the patient's death. And then, he tried to operate on him again. Tippett has made an egregious error. It's time we talked. Indeed. We will talk after get whatever I need to get here. Oops. Copy that away. Alright, let's put that away. Did I tell you to stand right here, man? Oh, come on. Here it looks like. John Dole. Who are you, man? What the heck was that? Stump stamina. Mm -mm. These Not against me, mask can be so ferocious. I'm not sure I can defeat them without becoming stronger. Oh, to drink blood is so tempting. Grab the training for fatigue. Alright, let's get the heck out of here, guys. Alright, that looked like a waste of time when you going through door to door. Hey, man, are you okay? Sir? Sir? Dude, they want to listen. What is it out here? It says going upstairs. Oh, I guess not. You guys want to know? I got my butt kicked by a bunch of skulls. Not my finest work. These vampires, man. They caught when they catch you off guard, man. Whew, you don't least suspect it, man. I feel like you're in a you know a haunted house or a haunted morgue. You go in, bam, they get you. When you're not looking, bam, they get you. When you're looking, bam, they still get you. Oh, crazy. I don't play much horror games. I'm not very talented at horror games. I usually play with at least a friend or a family member of mine. It's crazy. But I guess now I got um I got you guys rooting for me to um hear me scream from time to time. Hopefully I don't get jump scared, but I don't know. It's not really, you know, one of those like horror games like Outlast or anything, which I see a lot of people play, which is pretty 
fun and seeing their jump scare reactions and stuff is pretty hilarious. I mean, you know, this game's not scary as them, but when you're like so focused and set, set in the moment of it, man. Wait, am I going the wrong way? Yeah. I'd like to let you guys know what the heck are you guys doing next to the morgue with vampires, man? I meant to run. Alright, let's craft some stuff for it. <laughs> Craft the train for fatigue. I thought I did that. Medicine to Dorothy Crane in the patient's room. Got it. Patient! Patient! Patient's downstairs. What's up? Dorothy Crane. You don't look so good. Finally, you've returned, Doctor. Did you find anything of value? Yes, I did. Yes, Nurse. You've worked your first miracle, Doctor. Now, this patient here needs immediate treatment. Duty calls? When the storm has passed, I'll show you how to mix the remedy yourself with the same basic ingredients. Many thanks, Doctor. When you've finished, you ought to report to Doctor Swansea in his office. He's been looking for you. Seemed pressing. Decrease the blood quality of the system. That's the heal though. Speak to the patient with you. Got it. Alright guys, we're gonna end it there. I'll see you guys next time the next vampire. And again, I am Dan Sayu. Everyone stay safe. I'll see you guys next time. So Jonathan got the ingredients from the old morgue and he crafted a basic serum to help the patient. Then he's told him to meet Dr. Swansea in his office. What will Jonathan Connor next? Who will he meet? To be continued.